Hey everyone, Kim here. This is actually editing Kim and I was editing this video and watching the reading that I did and realized I did not talk about a card that I really wanted to show you all or discuss with you what comes up for me. So we're going to do that right here, right now. It's a little different than how I normally do it. Um, but yeah, I wanted to talk to you about the flight risk card. The flight risk card came up and the, this could mean that the person or persons who are responsible or who want to protect someone could potentially be a flight risk, someone who would leave the area, go outside of the area. That ties in with the outside oracle card that we see also in this reading. You'll see that in a moment. Flight risk um, could mean that this person has um, access to assets, um, has their passport, um, you know, maybe they um, have tried to um, escape the law before, they have a history of that, maybe they um, work with planes, fly a plane, um, but there is a flight risk element related to this case. Now, we're going to go ahead like we usually do, and I'm going to say hi everyone, Kim here, and um, yeah, let's resume our usual program. Hi everyone, Kim here, Abundant Life Tarot. I wanted to do just a quick part three to Madeline Kingsbury's readings I'm doing, and then after that, we'll just kind of wait and see how things unfold. I do sense that things are going to move quickly. I was I just wrapped up part two, the detailed tarot and oracle reading. Uh, be sure to check that out. And I did a part one, the opening oracle reading on her disappearance. And I was like, something told me to shuffle the cards, my 160 card oracle deck here and the tarot decks. And these were the cards that just flew out. And I wanted to hone in on a few key things, okay, before we wrap it up. Now, I do. I did ask, will they eventually find her or find out what happened to her? Because I didn't really ask that in uh, part two. Um, and we got nine of cups, which is, this is like a wish fulfilled. It's a wish come true card. And it affirms yes. Nine of cups is associated either to the timing of close to end of summer, or excuse me, the season of close to end of summer or the timing of nine days. So there's going to be information coming forth. Um, in, or at least if we don't get the information, maybe your family gets the information, but the investigation is going to continue to move swiftly, okay, in terms of fi like finding out what happened to her and or finding her. Um, it's a wish fulfilled. So this is good to see in terms of we'll be able to ultimately get answers one way or the other. The Hierophant represents the law enforcement body I sense. Um, and this Page of Swords that came up in part two popped up again. This was um, one of the cards that jumped to who may have been responsible. So this is interesting um, that the Hierophant, the law and order of things, the order of society, the rules um, that we have to f abide by, um, there's something happening with that. Hierophant represents the time period of April 21st to May 20th. So again, there's going to be some movement as it relates to um, this uh, law enforcement governmental body, okay? And all the invest investigating agencies, I suppose, related to this page of swords. Let me move over here. A um, couple of things here. We got the suffocation card. Um, I just sometimes when I see different causes of perhaps how somebody may have passed, I pay attention to it. Sometimes it just literally means someone was trying to take their breath away or that they felt like they were suffocated. We have video, audio, or surveillance. There is um, some information about may maybe what had happened to her, what, what truly is her last known whereabouts, or there's even audio captured about a poisonous situation. This could also literally mean somebody may have been poisoned or take consuming something that's toxic for the body. Um, so it could be that, whatever, you know, 
pick your poison, as they say, whatever the poison could be, or it could be a poisonous, toxic situation. And there is evidence of that. Maybe, you know, surveillance around the time, around the home, etc. We have outside. Could she, this mean she's outside versus indoors? I don't know. Could be. That's what comes up to me. But I mean, I don't know. Could be someone, an outsider. It could mean that. But I sense it means the physical space of outside. Someone being in denial over all of this. Family, friends to her or to who may be responsible. Somebody might be denying involvement. That's what also this card could mean. We have lost. Evidence lost. A person is lost and may be found. Um, a sense of being lost. Huh. And then caregiver or helper. Maybe this is, I mean, she's a caregiver. She's a parent. But um, the helper card, it stands out to me too. Someone being helped. More information to come down the line, several months down the line with the Page of Swords. Page of Swords for me is tied to information um, that could be revealed either in the winter time, like midwinter, early to midwinter, or the timing of 11 months. So that could be the progression, the slow progression of the legal bodies, the societal bodies that move these things forward in terms of getting all the details, all the information as it relates to that page of swords, that person who may ultimately be responsible. Check out part two because I go in, I go in depth on this card and how it ties into who may be responsible for um, her disappearance. All right, my friends, I wanted to keep this one short and sweet since I had already did the shuffling part and these were the cards that jump. No need to drag this out any further. Please do me a favor on your way out. Please hit the like button and subscribe. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for watching. Let's send our prayers up for strength and for comfort for Madeline's loved ones, her family, her friends, her babies, and we are praying that she is found soon ASAP. All right. Take good care. Bye for now.